Hello, constitutorial students, parents, and teachers. Welcome back to the 2023 constitutorial SHSAT rankings video. As all of you know, getting into a specialized high school takes two things, a lot of practice and making sure to have your rankings done properly, whether at the registration or whether at uh, during the actual exam that will take place uh, at, uh, this year in November. So this year, November 8th uh, is when the exam will be uh, for in-school test takers or November 18th and 19th. Um, so leading off, just know for all of you students, parents, and teachers at Constitutorial, this year we have at least at least one diagnostic left. On October 14th, you'll, you'd have uh, enjoyed the group parent-teacher conference. It is absolutely mandatory that all parents attend the Constitutorial Parent Conferences. Uh, next up, the weekend of the 21st will be Diagnostic H. And finally, we'll have diagnostic, uh, individual Diagnostic PTCs, Parent Teacher Conferences, the weekend of October 28th and 29th. Your final class for Constitutorial's SHSAT 2023 cycle will take place on November 5th. And by then, all of you will have the utmost confidence, K-H-A-N-F-I-D-E-N-C-E, -E, to get into your specialized high schools with an amazing showing on your uh, 2023 SHSAT exam. So let's take a look at Constitutorial School Statistics Rankings. This has been our performance for Constitutorial students that have taken this in the past. In the past. So if you're a student, uh, a parent, or a teacher, look very closely. Students who gained acceptance at Stuyvesant High School in the past had at least an 81% average on three final diagnostics. So if you had a 79, if you had an 83 and 81, there's a really strong, on a cons diagnostic, which is the most amazing, incredible, difficult material in the city, you know you got a really good shot at Stuyvesant High School. We are ranking Stuyvesant High School number one. For those of you who have at least a 76 average on three of your um, diagnostics at Constitutorial, you have a really good shot at Bronx High School of Science, where um, I graduated from a long time ago. And congratulations to Bronx Science on their ninth Nobel Prize winner. That's still number one in New York City, beating out Stuyvesant High School and Brooklyn Tech, no offense, but uh, congratulations to the all Bronx Science uh, alum, teachers, faculty, and staff, and the community. Next up, we're moving over to the largest magnet high school in the country, Brooklyn Tech. It does not get any more famous uh, than Brooklyn Tech for all things technology for public high schools. So if you have or your student or your child has a, three scores of a 71%, we know that Brooklyn Tech is really uh, in the picture, in the conversation now. Next up, we're always going to have to rank Brooklyn Latin. As a constitutorial student, it is mandatory that all of you are ranking Brooklyn Latin as number four. You never want to uh, risk not getting into a specialized high school for that matter. And also, to all of you with an audition for LaGuardia High School for Performing Arts, please be sure to rank LaGuardia High School for Performing Arts and submit an application for that. If you haven't done so, all you need is an audition in the art, in the performing arts that includes drama, singing, uh, artwork, uh, and anything else that is eligible, or even dance, uh, eligible in their admissions criteria. But back to the usual SHSAT pathways, we'll start off with why. Why are we ranking Stuyvesant High School number one? First and foremost, it's the easiest high school to get to. It's located conveniently, most centrally, out of all the specialized high schools in lower Manhattan. And while it's known for STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math, the school has an incredible, diverse uh, set of humanities options. That means the English uh, language classes, uh, foreign language classes. That means it's your global studies and social studies department. It means it's your music history department. It means it's your arts department. It means everything that can really, really make life worth living and enjoying. In, in addition to that, you have things like 
calculus, software development, zoology, organic chemistry, engineering, genetics, science fiction, competitions for music, speech, and debate, and um, a l countless individuals who come in as semifinalists in the local uh, science talent search competitions. Right now, it's being sponsored by Regeneron. In the past, it was called Intel. It was called Westinghouse. So congratulations to all of you who will be getting into Stuyvesant High School. If you're from Queens, just remember the E train goes straight to Stuyvesant High School. If you're near the F train, all you need to do is transfer at West 4th. We got to make sure to push ourselves to make sure Stuyvesant High School is in our rankings as our number one choice high school. Next up, Bronx High School of Science. That should be everyone's second choice. If you have at least above a 75 or a 70 in a consultorial diagnostic, you should be ranking Bronx Science as your second choice. Numero dos. In the Bronx, we have, at Bronx Science, we have our fantastic STEM curriculum, science, technology, engineering, and math. All it takes is that quick trip on the 4 train or the D train. So if you're from Queens, did you know that the Bronx High School of Science has more students attending from Queens than any other borough? So there's more Queens students at Bronx Science than kids from Manhattan. There's more Queens students at Bronx, at Bronx Science than kids in the Bronx. And of course, there's more Queens students than uh, students from Brooklyn at the Bronx, at the Bronx High School of Science. So make sure to have Bronx Science as your uh, second uh, most uh, highest rank uh, high school. Uh, Bronx Science has nine Nobel Prize winners, many in physics, most recently in economics. Congratulations to all the Nobel Prize winners. And of course, as a proud graduate of Bronx Science, the most important thing I can tell you is the campus life. You're going to have amazing friendships, incredibly caring teachers, a wonderful administration. And I didn't get a chance to uh, speak about uh, this during our Stuyvesant High School uh, version uh, segment. But we have a really strong relationship with the leaders at the Bronx High School of Science. Uh, about 20% of the Bronx High School of uh, Bronx Sciences graduating class last year were constitutorial graduates. So if you're at constitutorial and you're watching this, you better be ranking Bronx Science second. Next up, third choice on our rankings, Brooklyn Technical High School. Why? Because Brooklyn Tech is the nation's largest selective high school. It's the w nation's largest magnet high school. It's the nation's largest high school that requires one admissions test as a sole admissions criteria to get in to the schools, all merit-based, absolutely objective. Um, most importantly, the lifelong friendships that you can have at Brooklyn Tech, along with the college majors they have as a high school student. Imagine being a high school student and you get to select your college major, uh, almost like similar to college, but you're, check you're selecting your major while in high school. So Brooklyn Tech is uh, the official test prep partner. A Constitutorial is the official test prep partner for Brooklyn Tech Alumni Foundation. We do lots of work every single year with students from around North Brooklyn so that they can have an incredible life at uh, Brooklyn Tech. So if you're watching this video and you're going to take the SHSAT, you got to put Brooklyn Tech number three and you got to call KT when you get into these schools. Um, I can't uh, say anything else about Brooklyn Tech except the fact that it's very centrally located. And even if you're residing in the Bronx or Upper Manhattan or Queens, it's absolutely worth the trip to Brooklyn Tech because it still outranks about 95% of the rest of the high schools in New York City. So you still got to rank Brooklyn Tech number three, even if you want to go into law, humanities, or anything else. Let's move over to Brooklyn Latin because we're going to make sure that Brooklyn Latin is absolutely one of our top choices. Brooklyn Latin is located about 15 minutes past Brooklyn Tech on most major train lines. Brooklyn Latin's cutoff score is usually just a little bit uh, lower than what's required for Brooklyn Tech. So at cons, if you have any scores, if you have three scores above 65, anyone, even if you have an 85, even if you have three 90s, you still got to rank Brooklyn Latin uh, on every single ranking procedure. So let's move over to the ranks. 
Uh, rankings can also be based on what borough you're from. And uh, if you look at this amazing chart created here at Constitutorial, if you're a Queens and Manhattan student, for all of our students in Jackson Heights, Jamaica, Ozone Park, or most recently, Flatiron, New York City, as long as you have above a 70, you got to put Stuyvesant High School number one. Stuyvesant, Bronx Science, York Science, for those of you who really want to consider life at uh, your, it's Queens High School for Sciences at York College in Jamaica. And then you got Brooklyn Tech and Brooklyn Latin. So we have, there's your five, your starting five. Stuyvesant High School at the one. Bronx Science at the two. York Science at three. Brooklyn Tech, then Brooklyn Latin. That is your starting five. Rankings, if you are a Queens and Manhattan resident or Manhattan resident. Now, let's take it uptown to the Bronx. If you are from the Bronx and you're a resident of the Bronx, you still want to put Stuyvesant High School as your number one choice. Why? Stuyvesant High School is located in lower Manhattan. It may be a little bit of a trip, but it's absolutely worth it to come out there, meet students from all over New York City, be in these fantastic air-conditioned buildings with escalators and uh, so many other amenities around lower Manhattan. So even if you're residing in the Bronx, you want to put Stuyvesant High School as your first choice. Next up, we're going to be putting Bronx Science as our second choice. Next up, we're going to put High School of American Studies at Lehman College. High School of American Studies at Lehman College will be your next choice if you are a Bronx resident. So if you're a Bronx resident, Stuyvesant, Bronx Science, High School of American Studies at Lehman College. Then you also have the option of choosing HSM. SE. That's the high school for math, science, and engineering at City College. The 1-9 train, the D train, 135th, and Upper West Side. Uh, so keep in mind, uh, high school for uh, science, math, and engineering is still uh, an option for us uh, if you're a Bronx resident. Finally, we got Brooklyn Tech, and then we got Brooklyn Latin. So if you're a Bronx resident, you got to have your starting six. You got a six man off the bench. You got Stuyvesant High School. You got Bronx Science number two. High School of American Studies number three. HSMSC at City College number four. Then you got Brooklyn Tech number five. And you got Brooklyn Latin. Hopefully your scores are strong enough that you won't have to take the extra long trip. But if you happen to be from Brooklyn or Staten Island, because Wu-Tang is for the children, you got to put Stuyvesant High School as your number one choice. It's still only a 15, 20-minute subway trip into Manhattan. You want to have the amenities of lower Manhattan. And if you're willing to make the trip out, put Bronx Science number two, Brooklyn Tech three, Brooklyn Latin four, and Staten Island Tech five. Yes, we know that Staten Island Tech may have a higher cutoff than Brooklyn Latin. But unless you're residing in Staten Island and you really, really want to be at Staten Island Tech, your ranking for nearly 90% for all of our students from Cons Tutorial Brooklyn. We are back in Brooklyn. It's Stuyvesant, Bronx Science, number two, Brooklyn Tech, number three, Brooklyn Latin, number four, and Staten Island Tech, number five. So on the big bad test day, you may have rankings and a, and a Scantron sheet that looks like what you have on the screen. Shout outs to all of our producers here at Studio 94 for the, uh, for the amazing uh, imagery. Be sure to be following all of our um, items on our uh, Constitutorial YouTube channel. Uh, be sure to be looking closely for your school rankings, the tentative rankings. Again, anything from 75 and above, Stuyvesant, anything from 70 and above, you know, we, we, we still got a great shot at Bronx Science. Anyone with a 65 and above, you still got a shot at Brooklyn Tech. But we're going to be ranking all the high schools, not just a couple. You all got it? So take a look at uh, the bubble sheet. Figure out how to match up your first choice, second choice, third choice, fourth choice. Once again, Stuyvesant, Bronx Science, Brooklyn Tech, and Brooklyn Latin. That should be your choice in most forms. All right, students. All right, parents. All right, teachers, now that we know how to rank the specialized high schools before next month's big SHSAT exam, how are we going to get there? 
It's simple. The cons tutorials, SHSAT workbooks. If you've been a part of the cons workshop classes, these should have been complimentary if you joined us after April when we got these books. If Even if you haven't been a part of our classes, a lot of you have been purchasing from, uh, from the centers or more importantly, just going on Amazon.com and buying the, uh, these books yourself. It's really, really important if you haven't uh, to go through these books, complete it all. You want to be using these books so you can practice at least two hours every day. You want to be starting with your weakest section and do time sections, review your class notes daily, and be sure, be sure, be sure to practice our material before, the, before your eighth grade uh, material. So once again, you want to come home, you want to be able to relax, start your cons material right away, have your child do at least two hours of this every single day, and um, by the time you're done, wrap up your school homework, and then you'll be back at cons for our next few diagnostics. So we can't wait to um, have you use all of these resources. Hopefully by now you know what it'll take to rank the high schools. And between now and your official SHSAT next month, best wishes. Thank you for choosing Constitutorial, New York's number one company for the SHSAT, SAT, college admissions, and the state exams. We can't wait to have you back, and good luck on your SHSAT next month.